In today's match program, Leicester manager Jock Wallace praises the 100% commitment he's been getting from his players, staff and fans. He now looks for nothing less as the sides start what they hope will be their last home match in the second division for many years to come. Two changes emphasise attacking motives. Welsh is in for Scott and Lineker for Byrne. The average age of this side is less than 23, which makes Eddie Kelly a real father figure at 29. The Leicester skipper has stored up a wealth of experience since he made his mark in the Arsenal double side of 10 years ago, and it's proved invaluable as a steadying and guiding influence in this young Leicester side. Then this cross, Robinson was back to help out. Shaw again stops Leicester. And here goes Young. Good goal! Attention. It was good when pushing that ball forward, got a touch off Larry May, drops kindly for Young, the hammer of John Spinkers into the back of the net. a wild one by Martin. Oh, and that's a 
me, that is a red card. That's a red card. There it is. Madden. That was sheer foolishness. Even if, uh, even if he hadn't been already booked. You see, that was foolish and that was stupid. So Madden takes that long walk to the dressing room. Here's the corner, short by Byrne. Byrne, return driven by Young. Byrne in behind him and referee John Shaw. And end of the game, the final whistle's gone. We're still hearing from Swansea, but it's a, we've got a full-time result from Swansea of 1-1. So Leicester, barring, as I say, an almighty disaster. And all of are up into the first division. That goal by Bobby Smith in the second half. His 12th goal of the season. That's the one that has wrapped it up. Remember Alan Young scoring in the first half. That was an important goal. But the killer goal turned out to be that one. From Bobby Smith because of the goal that shot for back with from Steve Ritt. So the celebrations are going to start here early. Mathematically it isn't over yet. But the crowd figure is they're pretty damn certain that Leicester are back in the first division. Yes, they're certainly convinced at Leicester that their team are up. And it certainly looks that way today. Four teams are contesting those three places, and apart from Sunderland, they all have one match remaining next Saturday. Chelsea's draw at Swansea has probably cost them promotion because of their inferior goal difference. Leicester will have to suffer some huge disaster at Orient, while Chelsea will really have to thrash Oldham to stop Leicester going up. Sunderland, following their big home win yesterday, have West Ham at home and Cardiff away. More about Birmingham later. Jock Wallace, however, is still cautious about Leicester's position as the new leaders. After the match, he spoke about it to Nick Owen. Jock, many congratulations. You're looking very happy, and it's sounding very happy in that dressing room. Well, it's, there's still a name, a name, point, a name we're late, but there's, we, can, we can lose it, you know. Let's be cautious. I'm not taking that away from anything. We, we've celebrated now, uh, I sincerely believe that, but there's a, there's a, there's a back door here. And not only are you virtually certain of going up, but you're back on top now, and there seems to be a real chance of the title. Well, that's what we've always, I've always said, uh, maybe arrogant about this beginning. I mean, the belief in it in Sweden, when we were in training camp in Sweden, we came good. And uh, we've had the ups and downs, which is natural. And uh, at this moment, we've top the league, and I'm quite happy about that. It's been one of the closest battles for many years in the second division, but it seems that you have always been confident that Leicester are going to make it. Oh, I believe in these flat fellas. I mean, they, they, they've not played particularly well today, but they've run the half out and they've got, given us two goals. They may have scored another three goals, and this is what it's all about. People that want to work, we work for each other, I work for them, and if they don't work for me, well, they're off. But they are good lads, a lot of character, a lot of ability, and we have a lot of learning to do in the first division next year. Well, I know you're sick of this being put to you, but questions are still going to be asked about your chances in Division 1 with so many youngsters. Well, we'll find out when we get there. I mean, they're going to get a bit of summer back now. We're going to have to do a rethink about tactics and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I, really, I really think we can, we can establish ourselves in, in the first division because we're a hard-working team and, and teams will find that out next year. If I can talk about Rangers for a moment, you reached incredible heights, obviously, north of the border. How does it compare with the very difficult time you've had in the early stages in the English second division? Well, Rangers to me are something special. They always shall be. Uh, to do a treble once is, is, a, is a more of a we did it twice, the same as we've done it together. And as far as I'm concerned, it's a, it's a tremendous feeling I have towards them. But that part of my life's over now. And I've, I've got to get on with the building Leicester. They've, they've built it to a certain extent, but the team's got to be, I think the team will have to be re-examined and rebuilt again for the first division football. And a lot of good lads make fall by the wayside, but that's that's just life, isn't it? We've got to get there and win, and this is a tough game of football, and if you're not tough with it, it'll kick you right in the head. Because of your achievements up in Scotland, I know you've got a lot of fans who follow your progress down here, and I think they have a very wry smile that there's so many Scots in Leicester City side. It's like a oh, colony. Well, there's a few more. There's another one in the pipeline next week, so we'll see about that one. And you're going north of the border to look for another player, right? I've got one. Are you going to tell us who? No. No clues? No. Thanks very much and congratulations. Thank you.
is more definite about that than he is about promotion. Well, now let's meet the two goal scorers who played so well for Leicester, Alan Young and Bobby Smith. Well, quite an end to your season, Alan, and uh, what a great move it's been for you, hasn't it, coming to Leicester? Yeah, it's been marvellous, Nick. Uh, a lot of people thought I was doing the wrong thing coming to, to Leicester City, who uh, finished fairly low in the second division last season. But uh, I think we've proved quite, an, quite a few people wrong this season by uh, the football we've played, the dedication by all the players, and uh, finally today we've won promotion more or less. You had a, a great start yourself, personally. It went a little difficult in the middle, but you've come out of it again. Yeah, well, I started great. It was, it was funny, like, because uh, I didn't expect to start so well. Uh, I got a lot of goals uh, in a few games, and as you see, I hit a band patch. But I think every striker goes through such a such a stage in uh, any season. I knew I knew I would I would have one, but I didn't think it would last so long. Uh, I'm only glad that now I'm starting to pop uh, one in every maybe two or three games. And let's have a look at today's goal, which uh, obviously is a very important one for you. Yeah. Tell us something about that. Well, Mark Goodwin won it there in the field, but I think it was uh, the charmed fella who knocked it through eventually. I pushed Bobby Smith out of the way and uh, I just hit it. I actually thought the goalkeeper was going to save it, but when I hit the back of the net, I was delighted. Bobby scored 12 goals this season. I think today will be remembered as long as any. I would think so, yeah. It was very satisfying to see it in the net. Yeah. And it's just about clinched it for you? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I think uh, Chelsea drew today and that was it. So that's it puts us up. Well, it was a tremendous goal. Let's hear your version of it because uh, you really hit it. Yeah, Pat Brown takes a corner on the right. It's a nice ball over. I think John O'Neill gets a flick. And I'm standing in Martins. Hit it perfectly. Volley him. Yeah, lovely. And the atmosphere in the dressing room right now? Well, right now it's... Uh, it's a strange atmosphere, it's still sinking in for everybody, like, but uh, we've had a few bottles of champagne in the bath. The gaffer's delighted, Big Ian McFarlane's delighted, and uh, there's nobody more delighted than me.